How y'all doing today? I get home from work and look at what I run into. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is Trisha's car, and this is her boyfriend. Uh, what's your name? Funny, very funny. Very funny is his name. Now, uh, this is KC right here. And what we're gonna do, or more so him than me, but we'll figure it out along the way. Um, he's gonna go ahead and put some lowering springs on here. The good thing about the way that we're doing it today, we have a set of springs right here that have come off of Crump Films car, the Chris, uh, excuse me, S550 Chris, his car, he put airbags on it so he didn't need the suspension so he gave it to her or they sold it or whatever deal they made. So the good thing is we don't have to get a spring compressor to get it off the main strut. All we gotta do is pop it off of her car and pop this one back on there. So we shouldn't have no problems with that. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, we've already started. We got the tires loose. Casey's already got one of them down right there. So we'll uh, go ahead and keep on rolling and we'll just chime in every now and then. See you in a few. All right, guys, we got one of them out. Just want to show you what they look like when they're side by side. There you go. Doesn't look much different, but the red spring is shorter than the black spring. And you can tell the diameter is a little thicker, so the rods could be a little, little more stiff. So we'll stop here and keep on going. On a little side note here, when you do take the strut out, these three bolts right here on the top, one, two, three, they hold the strut and the shock in. So once you get the other one in, put those on and it'll hold up the shock and let you put in the bolts back in its place a lot easier, especially if you're doing it by yourself. So. Here's another little side note. When you do these uh, e-box springs, they put lettering on the springs. They face up when you install them. So if you can read it while it's sitting upright, you have put the spring on right. Isn't that right, Casey? Yes. <laughs> side joke for later, not for now. But he's almost got this side tightened up. There's three more sides to go. Aye. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. Time lapse. <laughs> what, my country accent kicked in? A little bit. <laughs> Fine, man. <laughs> later all right well he finally finished with the front front of it so now we're gonna go ahead and go to the rear and see what is involved with that and we have a special guest in the house what's up Chris so he's a little shy but he's our boy so we'll talk at y'all later when we get into the rear of the car all right, guys, now we're venturing on to the rear. We got Casey right here. Go to explain to me what he has to do because I have no, I have idea. No idea. <laughs> <laughs> you have to take off like everything. everything to get to everything to make everything happen. Uh, you have to drop the lower suspension with all these bolts in here, loosen it all up, pull them out, and then you guys disconnect the 
something or another. Yeah. Right here. And you gotta pull the shock out, just these two bolts, two bolts on top. Drops it. Just so that the whole thing swings down so that you can pull the shock, uh, excuse me, the spring out, which if you can see is all the way in the back behind everything back here. Yeah. So it's gonna be fun. Yep. Very adventurous. Yep. So we'll catch you as we go. Later. Okay, here we are under the car. Chris, no one used the impact really oh. good. You had to take out this bolt. That bolt. Which is right here. Which is right there. And the bolt in a different area. And Line that down. will drop all this Hard down down. down to get the spring out. It's going down. So it's coming down now actually, so let me back the hell up. <laughs> And with a little love and affection, we'll get that. Yeah. Jack it back yeah. up. So that's the gist of getting these off and what's that one's on. It's the same on that side, so I'm not going to show you that twice. But uh, case All right. So I think we got one side out finally. The size difference of them. It's about a coil, coil and a half. So I think that equals to maybe a two inch drop, inch and a half drop. Two. There's, I think two, two. Two inch drop. So that's what they look like. That's the disaster. So now we got to put it all back together on this side and do the other. Well, that was the install. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Long and drawn out. Nah, it wasn't too bad. So, uh, but you know the deal. Chris is saying, see ya for today. And uh, there it is. Have a good one. Peace.